Hello Master Kenefs, it's the Faceless Vapor here and today we're going to talk a little bit about cotton. Yes, Maverton X, a new cotton that is hitting the shores of South Africa, brought in by Cotton Man South Africa. And this is the cotton that Jay Hayes always uses, so if you ever watch this review, you will see this is the cotton that he uses. So we're going to drop down, I'm going to show you how to wick with it and talk a little bit about the cotton and then we're coming back up top and I'll talk you about my rating about this cotton. So okay, so Frakies, here we have it, the Maverton X cotton. And I must say that I have really been enjoying using this cotton. And because of all the questions, I thought I will do a quick how to wick with Maverton X because it is a different kind of wicking experience um, and for someone who hasn't wicked too much it might be something strange or if you're not an advanced or experienced builder then I would recommend you to watch this video if you've got some Maverton X and you're struggling to get some flavor. So this is the big bag, the 12.5 grams that I've got here. And I'm quickly going to take out the sheet of cotton for you. Now I've been handing out pieces of cotton and been giving cotton away for people to test because I really believe this is an awesome cotton and it is really like I said in my life very fluffy. So yeah let's talk about this cotton. It's very soft, very fluffy. So the first thing you need to know is to not make your cotton too thick. If you wick, you normally try and get a nice tight fit on your cotton, not too loose, but not too tight. Just a tightest fit to your cotton into your coils. But with this, it is not necessary to go thick. The thicker you go, um, the more you will struggle to get some um, nice flavor coming through. So I'm going to show you how I wick my QP Fatality M25 the three millimeter alien coils from white collar so what i normally do is with this cotton i just cut it in a strip um, about this size you can even go a little bit smaller to have less wastage but this is about the size i cut it for when i work with it and in this way i like working with this size so i cut the strip through to have a nice piece to work with and i put the other part inside of the bag so i'm going to work with this small part that i've got left i'm just gonna put this cotton to the side um, and then we're gonna wick the um, qp um, so what i will do is i'll pull, pull down a thinnish type of strip something like this for a three millimeter coil so you will see it is quite thin it's not very thick let's try and get it over the coil for you so it's not very thick but it is quite fluffy so there's a lot of air in it and it really saturates so nice that it sits out a lot in your coil so i'm going to take two strips of this thickness and just not roll it just push it a little bit together and then i'm going to take another piece of about the same thickness i'm going to put that to the side and then i'm just going to push it together not rolling it just pushing it together um, so i'm not rolling it i'm just like slightly squishing it together um, to get it a more a little bit more aligned so that's the way i like to start off my cotton two strips like that and then i will slightly roll it at this end like you do with normal cotton roll it so it goes through nicely so i'm going to try and get it so that you can view it on the camera so um, if you can see it's not a tight pull it's a light pull um, so there you can see it very loosely but still not going through if i tug on it so that's the way i like to put my cotton through not too tight um, almost looser than you would think um, and let's do it with the other side as well light roll and then we're going to put it through let's turn this around once again and make sure it's just nice and then we're going to put it through so you can see how fluffy it is 
on the sides um, really nice fluffy cotton um, and that's how I like to put my cotton into the coils of the Maverton X so I'm going to start off with cutting the sides off um, I'm going to work on this side for my QP so I'm cutting it off nice and then I am going to fluff it out a little bit I know some people say you don't need to fluff it out but call it OCD call it just muscle memory or mag van gewoonte um, I still like fluffing out my cotton a little bit um, even though it's not really necessary but this cotton is so fluffy and so poofy um, puffy not poofy um, that I do like to wick it out a little bit and on my QP I like to trim it down a bit so I trim it down a bit and then I try and give it a slight undercut um, and then we're gonna just see for instance if this isn't too long um, I think the sides is a bit long I'm gonna trim that side a little bit and then I'm gonna get the cotton in So just softly working the cotton in, not forcing it in, trying to keep the fibers nice and straight because if it's straighter it wicks easier. So just tucking it in softly like you tuck it in a baby. So also guys, like anything in vaping, it's all personal opinion. Some people would like it longer, thicker, um, it's like life you always maybe want it thicker and longer but this is about how I like it now if you can see normally with Maverton if I put that back there now you will see that the cotton let me just quickly fix this if you have a look there not there where I'm quickly messing around a bit it's it's slightly lower it's almost as if there's not enough cotton there but that's how i like the maverton um, because it saturates so nicely if you've got it in like that that you can see the coils if you look there there's almost a little bit looks as if there's a gap between there if i push it down um, but that's how maverton likes to be weak that's what i've experienced and how it works well for me um, so i'm going to do the same to the other side cut and trim throw these to the side and then I'm going to fluff it out a little bit to get it a bit thinner so it goes in easier and again guys I like fluffing this out I know Moritz from Cotton Man South Africa doesn't really need to fluff it out but I still like some fluffing um, getting some of the cottons out and just getting it nice and straight um, and then I'm going to cut that off and then also again like I always do with my QP a slight undercut and then a slight trim on the corners here to get it better aligned and then I'm just going to tuck it in lightly again and if you think your cotton is too long remember you can always pull it out and work it back in some people like to make the chamber nice and full of the QP. Um, I try and always give a little gap at the bottom and that works nicely for me. So I don't know how many of you like wicking but I really like wicking. It's therapeutic for me. Um, it keeps me nice and calm, nice and focused. So normally I take much longer than this to wick my stuff because I really enjoy wicking. So yes, there we go. Um, I think this side is a bit long, so I'm just gonna trim it a little bit more at the bottom. Um, for me, it's a bit longer than I wanted at the bottom, so I'm just taking off a little bit, and then I'll quickly work it back in. There it goes, nice and easy. Um, and yes, um, tell me how you wick your QP if you're watching this review or the, the tutorial on how to build, um, or, or let me rather say wick with Maverton. How do you build your QP? Do you stuff in the cotton till the bottom? Um, but like I said, Maverton is such a nice cotton, but it does have a slight learning curve to it. 
um, and you're going to have to figure out the thickness if you're not used to using the specific cotton this is going to be maybe something different so let's have a look there as well if I push it down you should see the same there almost as if the cotton is slightly too thin on the inside so yeah that's how I like to put in my cotton on my QP and this really works nicely for me um, giving me the best wicking and the best flavor so let's get this onto a mod and let's get some juice on here quickly and get it saturated so I'll show you there's a slight trick to saturating the Maverton as well so let's get this on here So the juice I'm going to use for getting some Volk suppies onto my cotton is some Heavenly Cream Milkshake e-liquid um, and this is distributed by um, Lungasm e-liquids and guys this is a really nice juice um, but I can't tell you what I'm tasting. I have tried everything. I have meshed Scarlet so much telling okay i'm getting cream soda float no it's not that i'm getting a lime nesquik no it's not that i even went and tried figuring out if it's not some sort of ex exquisite type of tea that he's got in there but i can't nail this profile i've had so many people vape this juice and everybody says it's so good but they don't have an idea what's in there so I want to review this but I don't know what to say I'm tasting but I really enjoy this juice um, so let's give it a quick shake and then we're gonna get some folk suppies onto this cotton so what I like to do is if you get your cotton and you start saturating it lightly at the coils um, I just need to turn my mod on and then I'm gonna drop the wattage down to about 50 watts uh, 48.5 will work and then I'll just lightly coat my cotton and give it a slight pulse and hopefully you can see at the sides if I give it that pulse how the cotton draws to the heat you can see on the sides how nicely it starts wicking this juice smells so nice if only I knew what I'm smelling but then I'll start coating it to the sides I like taking my time a little bit so pulsing it some more and working it in nicely and now what I've noticed is if you just chuck your Volksuppies onto the cotton um, it's as if it wants to roll down so what I do is I lightly dab my juice onto it saturating the cotton but don't squirt out your cotton just keep your tip almost nice and wet and just dab your cotton lightly and then you'll see how nicely it starts saturating so I'm gonna just go to the top of the juice port and then I'm going to go to the other side I'm going to leave that side here you can see already how it has already nicely started to automatically saturate there without me doing anything nicely flowing down the middle so I'm just lightly going to dab 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 and I'm going to do the same here Then we're going to go to the other side to see you can see the cotton is already saturating automatically at the bottom but i like to give it some juices at the bottom make it a bit juicy and um, okay there's almost already fully saturated there automatically so i'm just going to lightly do that and then i'm just going to slightly pulse it a little bit more drop juice one drop at a time getting the cotton nice and saturated on the inside and I think that is good and good enough for some action let's get some focus there so there you see nice and saturated the aliens just sounding nicely so let's get the cap or the top back up and let's screw it down 
and open the juice flow and we've got this nice drip tip from Brent at Bearded Viking Customs and let's open the top cap get some juice in and then we're gonna have a quick vape let's fill it up let's go to there with the heavenly cream down put it back and then I like to start off with every time I wick and put cotton in I like to give it a couple of soft toots on a light wattage oh very nice no cotton taste and this juice is just so nice and now I start ramping up my wattage up to 80 watts it's vapor at 80 watts now I know some of you are gonna scream faceless where's the bubbles um, and there you can see a light bubble starting form forming um, and guys it's not always necessary to have bubbles and action um, sometimes if you wick it nicely and the cotton just saturates nice it's not necessarily going to bubble but let's give it some chain vaping on 80 watts and let's see how it goes keeps up perfectly um, bubble lovers let's see if i can get it there there's the bubbles coming um, focus there's your bubbles those of you who like your bubbles there you have your bubbles but i'm gonna go wild i'm gonna go up to a hundred watts and i'm gonna see if this cotton keeps up with the wattage in a tank at a hundred watts um, there's still bubbles coming um, let's go it's keeping up at a hundred watts it's bubbling it's going nice so guys there you have it that's the wicking with the maverton x um, and i want to really recommend you guys to go out and try this cotton especially if you've been building and wicking for a long time and you may be looking for a new type of challenge experience something different um, it keeps up at 100 watts it's just wicking perfectly no cotton taste um, let's go back to my animate itself and I'll give you some rating of my review on this juice. But that's it, Maverton X, awesome cotton, you have to try this. Let's go back up top. Okay, okay, and Frokies, there you have it. That is how you wick with Maverton X. And I just want to say that that is basically the same way I go about with wicking an RDA. The only thing on an RDA is I don't fluff it out. So cut it, put it in and vape it so yes guys i really love the maverton x cotton um i was a firm lover of tfc but this has changed my mind and this is the cotton of choice for me now so maverton x is a little bit expensive but the fact that it is so fluffy so easy to wick there's a lot of advantages with rather going with the more expensive cotton than going with a cheaper cotton so let's quickly run through some categories with the Maverton X, how I rated it, and I rated them all out of five points. So ease of use, um, I would have to give Maverton a three out of five. It is a slight learning curve because of the fluffiness and the way this cotton is. You have to start playing around with it a bit if you start wicking with it, um, and maybe just try what I did in the review. Of the cotton while i wicked it so ease of use i gave it three out of five so cotton wastage that is the amount of cotton you lose when you cut it and trim it i gave it a four out of five what i really like about the maverton is because it's so light fluffy and soft it's easily to add a piece of cotton just by pushing it together um, no trouble adding some cotton if you're too thin and there's not a lot of wastage because I can even cut my cotton shorter 
to put it into my tanks or into my RDA and it still wicks easily. So a slight learning curve with it, but when you get it, you'll have less cotton waste. It's so a four out of five for that. Then for the cotton feel, I can't give it anything else than five out of five. It feels fluffy, it feels organic, and you can just, when you feel it, you will know this is really a premium cotton. Then the capillary action, that is how the juice saturates, how it's drawn into the cotton, into the coil. I will have to give it a five out of five. Um, I've been vaping my QP normally on 80, 85 watt with the other cottons I have used, and that was the limit for it. But I can easily take my QP now up to 100 watts, 110 watts, and the saturation will keep up. It will keep wicking. So five out of five for the capillary action. Cotton taste, guys, there's a lot of cottons that claim there is zero cotton taste, but like everything, you have to realize that it is still cotton. And Maverton is the closest one that I've tried out when it comes to no cotton taste. I would say for the first or second draw, you'll still get some type of cotton, but after that, you're good to go. Then you'll experience your juice. Um, and this is the closest I came to zero cotton taste. So let's talk about flavor. Flavor is one of the reasons why most of us vape. So for flavor, I will give it five out of five. If you're really looking to get the best out of your juice, Maverton X will bring it out. Um, I have experienced it. I've spoken to Khan, who's also bought himself some cotton. And on that note, I did buy this cotton myself. It wasn't seen to me, but I spoke to Khan and he also said, with all the juices he's trying and testing out, he's getting more flavor out of it. And all of a sudden, some of the juices he always liked, now it gets different notes coming through. A really nice cotton for flavor, five out of five for that. Along with the capillary action, we'll go to heat handling, and this cotton performs well at any heat. Low heat, high heat, so five out of five for heat handling. And then the other thing a lot of us are always looking for is what is the longevity? How long does the cotton last? Now, for me personally, when I got it, I tested it in the QP for seven days, and I tried to punish this cotton. I put in every second tank was a different juice, I switched it around and after seven days the cotton was still giving good flavor so I got seven days out of my long-term test but again that will also depend on the type of juice you're vaping if it's very sugary or maybe a thick creamy dessert it might be shorter so five out of five for longevity then the last thing I would like to tell you about this cotton, if you're someone who like changing your flavors, don't like to vape one flavor for a couple of days in your RTA or in your RDA, the other nice thing about this Maverton cotton is how it switches between, between flavors. One or two draws if your tank is empty and then you'll start getting the other juice that you added, the new juice, the fresh juice flavor you'll start getting. So flavor switching really fast, really good. So guys, I really enjoy Maverton. It's my favorite cotton I have ever used. And as long as I'll be able to get it and buy it, I will be using this for my juice reviews as I believe that I would like to give every juice the best opportunity to shine. So guys, if you're watching this review and you're wondering where can I get Maverton cotton, well, if you want to order online and you want to get some, you can order from Vapors Cafe. Um, you can order there and they'll ship it to you. And also, either today or Friday at Brothers Vaping Lounge Cape Town, they will have stock in. So go follow Brothers Vaping Lounge Cape Town on social media. So if they get the cotton in, you can go and get yourself a packet. And I promise you, it's going to go fast. So keep your eyes open. And I would like to know from you, have any of you tested Maverton X yet? What's your personal experience with it? And guys, like a juice review, cotton is the same. It's my personal experience. What you might experience from it might be really different. So with that said, guys, have yourself a lacquer day. Enjoy Breidag tomorrow, and I will see you all on the next review.